Oakland Avenue, um, 6 o'clock in the morning here. Uh, this is a major uh, commercial uh, street here um, in Indiana. we got all kind of restaurants and shops and stuff here. Oakland Avenue. And uh, we are right uh, near the Oakland Cemetery, the town cemetery here in Indiana, PA. You know, um, coming in this morning um, uh, and walking through campus, or coming in last night and walking through campus, um, one of the things I wanted to see or recognize was... Um, my dorms, my old dorms, um, you know, with parents living in Pittsburgh, uh, when I first went to school here, um, uh, you know, you have to stay in the dorms. So I was looking for my dorm building. And so I'm, you know, I'm going through, like, or I'm going past all these... Um, residences and suites <laughs> you know these massive uh, resort looking buildings and I'm like uh, you know I, I don't remember the name of my dorm building you know um, that escapes me but, uh, you know, I, you know, I, it really doesn't matter because I wouldn't recognize it today um, if they kept the same name. Um, so anyways, last night, I'm walking from the campus up, you know, uh, along Oakland Avenue, and I spot this. And I recognize this structure, in fact, these structures here, across from the cemetery, Oakland Hall. And Oakland Hall, in my day, was a dorm building, okay? And uh, <laughs> um, so that's what we called it. We didn't call it a suite. Um, I remember my dorm building, you know, it had like a counselor at the end of the hall, um, and it had like down in the lobby, it had, I think, a pool table, uh, couches, a couple chairs and tables. That was the extent of my dorm building. There was no suite, there was no residences, you know, and mailbox, you know gold mailboxes along the wall with, you know, 1,500, you know, boxes there. Um, but, today, though today I couldn't recognize the structures, um, I did recognize this Oakland Hall. And, uh, uh, yeah, um, and the reason I recognize it is for two, th two reasons. One is that it was so far outside, in my view, of the campus, which is like a mile down there, you know, or half a mile down there. Um, it's a good ways off campus, but still, you know, in, in 1979, I noticed it, it was still a dorm building. And I thought, well, it's kind of odd that, you know, the school would have a dorm building, you know, kind of really off campus. So coming back here last night, I recognized the building and buildings. And Oakland Hall, I recognized the name too. So, um, <laughs> you know, I don't know if the school owns it anymore. It doesn't look like they own it. But I will tell you this as a certain, certain sign of the times. Um, in my day, it was a room with showers down the hall, one wing, and, and my dorm was uh, co-ed, so one wing was uh, uh, young men, the other wing young women, and uh, you had a room with two uh, beds, 
and a desk on both si on either side on both sides and uh, and uh, showers down a hall now look at this as a sign of the times compared to today's students I Oakland Hall um, yeah I, I don't think the campus owns it anymore I don't think IUP owns it anymore Infinity uh, Rentals Inc. now owns the building and uh, <laughs> sad look at that private rooms Internet and utilities included, you know. So, um, <laughs> you know, and uh, it was renovated, it looks like. And, uh, uh, you know, it's like in, in my day, it was it was a lap of luxury, you know. Um, now it's kind of been reduced to... Sort of like the old YMCA's, if any of you guys, you know, in their 50s or so, 60s, remember the YMCA's of old. You had private rooms with uh, showers down the hall. <laughs> oh, my.